IFC data, attributes, properties, classifications, etc., are native ARCHICAD properties, so they can be assigned to elements, stories, buildings, and projects at any time. Since the IFC properties are native to ARCHICAD, all other functions of ARCHICAD also work for them. This video clip presents how to search for IFC data and list them in schedules. In ARCHICAD 17, some new IFC data types have been implemented. Let's see how ARCHICAD functions, such as find and select and scheduling work for a new IFC data type called IFC type products. An IFC type product is an IFC entity that defines a particular style or type of other entities by relating to them with common IFC attributes and properties. For example, an IFC wall type is defined by its building material or its composite structure. In this example, the lime sand plastered composite attribute and the thickness of the wall. Another example, IFC window style is an IFC type product that includes all windows having the same library part name and the same lining and panel properties. Now let's see how to search for walls assigned to an IFC type product in a 3D model view. Let's use the find and select tool. Set the element type to wall and add the new criteria called IFC type product. Set the criteria value to the type name you would like to search for. Here the lime sand plastered type exterior wall with a thickness value 565 millimeters. Click the plus button to select all walls displayed in the current view related to the selected IFC type product. In the next example, Let's list walls with their IFC type product type, the wall type, plus their standard IFC fire rating parameter. For our schedule, we have to define a new scheme setting. Click the Scheme Settings command from the Document menu. Create a new schedule scheme with the name Wall Types. Then define the columns of the schedule table under the field settings. For example, add the element ID first, then add the IFC type product parameter. This parameter defines two columns. The first one sums the type of the IFC type product. In this example, it will be IFC wall type for all elements. And the second one collects the name of the types. We are interested in the names only and don't need to list the text IFC wall type for all elements. So remove the first IFC type product type parameter from the schedule fields list. Next, add the structural function classification data to the schedule which shows which walls have load-bearing functions and which are partitioned non-load-bearing walls. Next, add the wall thickness field to the schedule table. Finally, add an IFC property set previously for the wall entities. Here we choose the fire resistance rating standard IFC property. Note. The Select IFC Properties dialog lists only the IFC properties that have values in the current project or have values for the wall elements. Clicking OK creates the schedule based on the selected fields and columns. The new schedule is available in the Navigator palette under Schedules in the Element folder. Double-click the name of the new schedule, Wall Types, to open it in a new window. Its content is automatically filled in based on our requirements. If you don't like the name of a column header in the final documentation, just click inside the header field and give it a new name. For example, as IFC type product represents the wall types in this example, just modify the header to wall type. When an IFC property, here the fire resistance rating, is selected as a table field, the header shows inside brackets the name of the IFC property set that contains the property. If you like it, erase it from the header now the table is ready for documentation and shows IFC data integrated as standard properties in an architectural project.